Good morning everybody. Sorry for the delay. All this new equipment and all the setups and everything is kind of taking its toll. Um, the last thing I'm struggling with is just my parking brake. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I put in there. Anything I put in there triggers it to stay on. So I'm going to have to delete this. Get rid of this dude and I think. I'll, I'll figure it out Uncle John. It's just... You know, maybe it's not the right time to do it now before a stream, me, I understand. Uh, do nothing. Now the question is, how the hell do you now get rid of it? Because now something's toggled. How the hell are we going to do this now? No, oh, man. Hang on. Okay, alright, 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 all right. that's helping. Um, by the way, good morning, Eugene. I see you there. Uh, all the guys here on Discord, good morning. Guys, I'll be, I'll be on my way shortly. I think that that was the conflict, yeah. So let's go try this one again. Uh, Max effort, max effort. Where did I see hold breaks maximum effort? Nope. I don't know, let's go for that one. Let's just see what it does now. Nope. Nope. Oh, look at that. The moment I use that command, it, it sets this thing. It's like it is interfering there. So what's the model of the story? Don't use that command. Why is that mapped? That's the toe brakes. It's got absolutely nothing to do with this thing. Hmm. Guys, if there's anybody that knows better than me, you're welcome to jump in and give me a clue. Because now we're kind of stuck. Um, brakes, brakes. Let me get this straight. You want to have the brake set to real? No. But to no, use no, no, no. Switch. Want, no, I want to use a switch on simply. If you use a real, it interferes with Linda. Oh, that as well. Okay. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is go to do nothing, apply, done. <laughs> go in. Go figure out why this thing is interfering. I mean, it's literally interfering. I'm I'm stepping on my toe brakes. Look, and it's setting the parking brake. What the hell has that got to do with each other? Mm. It's got nothing to do with each other. Do nothing. Do nothing. Special again. Yeah, I hate being special. You've been special for a few days with various things, haven't you? Yeah. Do it. Hello. Okay, there's nothing about breaks in here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Do 
there's nothing conflicting there there's nothing conflicting with your new honeycomb bravo throttle quadrant where something there's been mapped for that speed brake or something just read through it i didn't see it What the hell has my tow brakes got to do with my parking brake? It makes no sense. And I've removed all of the other mappings and stuff. It started now when I wanted to connect a, a switch to my parking brake. The moment I mapped it, everything just went totally haywire. Nico, mm. try a, a completely reload. Sometimes I have the same issue and on the next um, try it's working without any issues. Mm. Yeah, there shouldn't be a story um, about breaks, but uh, yeah, yeah, we can always check it out. Okay, I'm just going to quickly restart, explain, let's see. Ay, 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 ay. John, if this doesn't work, there's paraffin down in the pantry. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, and I've got matches here in the cupboard. Yeah. Okay, uh, I will sort it out. I'm telling you. Yeah. Nico, yes. Nico I, bl I blame John anyway. You blame John? Oh, poor yeah. man, same. <laughs> He says he's got broad shoulders. <laughs> I would hate to plug in my Cytec throttle again just to go look up a silly little mapping. <laughs> It's surprising how you can have a double map in some way and it affects the whole thing. It will, it will. Um, the thing is, I don't see a double mapping with my eyes, okay? And, yeah. And I didn't make mappings in XPUI PC, but uh, while we're talking about that, let's go have a look, see if there isn't something in XPUI PC now again. Yes. Mm, XPUI PC. The moment I step on my toe brakes, it puts the parking brake on. What's it to do with uh, I am ready for electrical power up procedure. Nico, what happens if you press on each tow brake individually? Uh, well, I've disconnected it now, and now oh. I'm looking for for it. There you go. That's the left one, the right one. There's the yaw. Let's calibrate it again. Why not? 
Oh yeah, oh yeah. See, people think they're clever, aren't that clever sometimes, you see. Just wanted to map one little button for a parking right. <laughs> Ah, look. Okay, I'm going to do something else now. Let's just copy this thing. Okay. Are you sure you've got it set to simply? Yes. Very simply. Yep. I'm looking at my XP UI PC. It says there's nothing set in terms of any access for the toe brakes or anything. Nothing even remotely related. Yeah, it's it's weird because I mean the park and brake is not an access. It's just a button switch. Yeah. So it's somewhere. Yeah. Oh, there is just crashed out on me. Look. Explain just closed. Why me? There's obviously a conflict somewhere. Yeah, there must be. Now, what I did was I assigned two of the switches to the fuel cutoff and the fuel mixture. Okay. So I'm going to toggle that a little bit. I'm going to remove those mappings as well because maybe there is this cross soldering problem that you had. You know what I'm saying, Kevin? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Could be because I've assigned those two for the mixture. Uh -huh. And it's since I um, assigned the mixture. Come on, you bugger. Since I assigned the mixture uh, cut off switches, this is started. So I'm going to undo that. Hello, Anthony. Well, I'm thinking that the mixture, these buttons are linked somehow. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. It's times like this, Uncle John, that I want a big slab chocolate. <laughs> John will run out and get you one. No, he won't. No, he must check his face. He's looking at me <laughs> as if I'm bloody crazy. All I want is a big slab chocolate, just to feel better. <laughs> He's not even answering me. He's just shaking his head in total disbelief. I'm not answering because I can't believe that the cheek of the man. <laughs> I didn't ask you for one. I said, this is what I wanted. Anyway. I'll Have you got yours up. back yet? Uh, no. No, it's been shipped there, uh, John, so probably Monday or Tuesday, I would think. Okay. Have they actually confirmed there was an issue with it? Yep. 
Well, they haven't confirmed it to me. All they said was that, um, yes, you can definitely have a replacement. So they uh, must have looked okay. at it or had somebody look at it. And... Okay. Well, right, so all... mm -hmm. Sorry, you go I said, for all practical intents and purposes, we are now exactly where we were this morning. Look, and now it's it's still linked to the parking brake. How the hell? Hey, thank you, Anthony. Wait. Wait a minute. Have you got anything at all assigned to that park and break, Nico? Well, he's, he's moving the USBs at the moment. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm back. I moved it to a totally different USB. I still mapped. Somewhere it's mapped. B, 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 B does nothing because the moment I step on it, it sets it again. Yeah. I don't know. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Have a look for park and break and make sure there's nothing assigned to it at I all. I did. I did. Oh, you've done that. Okay. I want to quickly try something else. It's stuck. <laughs> right, let's start from the beginning. So, there's throttle one, throttle two, nose wheel teller. All right, there is nothing here with the word brake or parking brake, not a single thing. Right, nothing. So now we go there and we res reverse those axes. That doesn't work. That there's nothing, uh, there's nothing mapped on your Alpha flight controls, is there? For Negative. a park and break? Negative. Okay. Never have been. Okay. And this is your own this is your own profile which you set up yesterday, Nico. Sorry, say again, Kevin. I say this is your own profile which you set up yesterday for your your Bravo throttle. I'm not using any profiles. This thing is talking okay. directly to experiment was working perfectly until I mapped the parking brake or tried to map the parking brake. Andy, have a look at the screen. I'm pressing B. Uh there. It does nothing. Somewhere there is definitely power in a command coming through to the Zebo telling it this is it. So, yeah. The only other place Uncle John says is here and he's right. You know, in calibration, maybe something crept in here that I'm not aware of. I don't know, there's no parking brake thing here or any brakes except the speed brake. See, and the speed brake works there, you can see it's working. Um, there's nothing here.
Okay, chocks seem to have had an influence. That was a good one. So if we remove the chocks, that doesn't become a problem anymore. But, okay. Mac, uh, Mac seemed to have a problem a while back. Something to do with chocks on startup and part yeah. break remove chocks. Yeah. There was some kind of interlink malarkey with that. We're going to see now. Yeah, um, Paul, I think I think that's part of it. Okay, I've never experienced this ever. And I mean, you know, I fly this thing bloody every day. So this, the whole way this thing unfolded, it seems it's been related to chocks and parking brake and all these things. Um, yep. Good morning, Cole. Good morning. Um, it's okay if you just stay a little while. We'll talk again. It's never happened before. Yeah. I understand that it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because the chocks is in place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, look, in the real world, it makes perfect sense. I have to give you that, Uncle John. It's perfectly true. So let's leave it as that then. Now, 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 now. Let's go back and do what we wanted to do. Um, yeah, I haven't been on the forum in a while, um, Andy. I've just been too busy in the real world, so I'll go have a, a look there. Um, mixture one idle. Mixture one cut off. Right. Carl Childers donated $20 Oof. through Super Chat. Oh, For Cole, thank you so NBA. much, my buddy. Thank you, thank you. Makes the two idle. You see, I need to go look at that forum a little bit more. But guys, I've just genuinely be, been too busy. Eh? Uh, mixture two idle. Mixture two idle. So now, oh, I think I've double mapped that. It must be one. Must be. Cut off, that's cut off. Mixture to cut off. Right. Then. Uh, max effort. Should be. Okay, so that's a toggle. How do we release the brakes? Is there a button or a command for that? Uh, toggle. That's a toggle. Let me hold. Brakes maximum. No, 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 wrong one. Nothing. Must be nothing. This one. Must not be a toggle, it must be a hold. Hold, 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 break maximum effort. Ah, now it's doing nothing. It's going to have to be a push button, not a rocker switch. Hmm. Good morning, Scotsman. So it's it's always a toggle. Now I have to rock the switch twice to get the same effect. Ah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna map it twice. Why not? So the one will push it one way and the other one will push it another way. <laughs> if you're not strong you gotta be clever. So much for that. Oh! 
thank you gentlemen ladies and gentlemen for following me on the journey of setting up this bravo throttle quadrant for the zebra mod <laughs> let's go fly uncle john gave up he walked away i don't know what he's doing i hope he comes back Gents on Discord, are you ready to fly or are you in the air already? Anybody? <laughs> Cat stole their tongues. The, mm. I'm listening for people to answer you, sir. There's nobody. All right. I'm on my way to Malawi, so I'm not joining at this time. Okay. Yeah, you don't love me anymore, I know. That's fine. No. no. At least I'm on the same yeah, continent. <laughs> Nico? Yes, Axel, I can hear you now. Okay, sorry. No, I, I'm I'm waiting for you at the platform in uh, Casablanca. All right, sir. Thank you very much for that. I'm busy setting up now. I'll be out of here in 15 minutes. We're going to go. Uh, uh, no problem. I'm waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Now I need to reconnect everything again. So we're trying to connect to Iveo quickly and we're trying to get the A cars going. I'm busy loading up uh, the flight here. Yeah. Yes, we want to reconnect. There we go. Seems like A cars is running, sir. Right, so that is done. So have a look at the layout. Yeah, we said we're taking runway 17 left. Come on. Who is that? Please contact GMM in approach. Okay, we've got ATC. my whiteboard Casablanca approach uh, Skymatic 001 radio check Skymatic 001 hello loud and clear thank you sir good morning to you we're requesting IFR clearance to future Venturas file please Skymatic 001 Domestic 001, you are close to destination, departure runway 1, seven, right via uh, Funkus 4, Delta departure, climb flight level 310, Skok 6455. Uh, Squawk 6455, flight level 310, we will use the uh, Fokka 4, Delta departure of runway 17, right, Skymatic 001. Coming to 001, correct. Easy. You're not listening in anymore, is your headphones bothering you? Uh, oh. Casablanca, good morning. This is uh, uh, the Skymatix 280 at the platform requesting uh, clearance to uh, Fuet uh, Ventura. Skymatix 280. It's uh, 280, roger, uh, but uh, flight level 310, it's uh, already occupied, so uh, flight level 290 or 330 is available. Okay, we take uh, 330, uh, 280. Coming to 280, thank you, roger. You are clear to destination, keep up the runway, once in the right. Via Fakas for Delta departure, climb in the flight level 330, 
Um, Scotsman, it's Fakas is the full name, but on the screen it said Fakatu or Fakafo uh, Delta. To, uh, so please don't read anything to, uh, into it more than that. We are eh? the Fakas for Delta. Fakas. Runway 17 right. Flying Sounds good, eh? To flight level 330 and the squawk is 6456. Uh, Semi-Metix 280. Semi-Metix 280, Rizbeck is correct. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Right. Departure, we need to change that. Needs to be 17. Right. Fuck off. 4 Delta. Good morning, William. 4 Delta. Right, I've got the arrival at ILS Zulu 01, Sodat transition on that side, and uh, Rusi 4 Sierra on the star. See, I'm doing things out of sequence. Yeah, I got it eventually after almost a year, Tommy. I've got it. And it's a bit of a, a transition to get used to this now. I mean, I've, I'm so used to the Cytec and the CH throttle quadrants. This is like next level, man. I mean, it's it's crazy. Have a look here. Let me show you guys um, what it looks like here. Just need to get it on screen quickly. What? There we go, got it. That's what it looks like at my desk right now, so all good. Hello, Crester. Right, so we back to the route, check the departure and the change it. Yes, then the arrival, gotta make sure. Yeah, all good legs then. Right, then what's now happened is thank you to support from X Enviro. I've got my X Enviro working again so we can actually get all the details. We've also got ATA, so let's just see if it is the same story. 10021. 10021 it is. Thank you, thank you guys. Yeah, thank you to Uncle John for. for going through all the effort of bringing it and getting it for me and all. Thank you, Uncle John, for the Bravo. Pleasure, sir. Pleasure. So anyway, apologies that you guys had to suffer through the first freaking 30 minutes of setting things up and understanding how this new system works. Um, with SciTech, I never had this issue with the Bravo. It obviously created new scenarios with new ways of handling it. So uh, yeah, I got to learn a bit with you guys this morning. I hope somebody learned with me. Um, this whole thing with the jocks and the parking brakes very interesting. So uh, yeah, yeah, it happens. Uh, yes, he's the best courier, I promise you. Fifty. 
That's fine. All right. Okay. I'm s Axel. I'm starting my um, uh, APU so long. So I'll be another five, six minutes. Then I can push. Oh yeah, no, for sure it was it was like Christmas. Right, so APU is firing up. Let's set up this baby. Oh yeah, we wanted to step through just to make sure that we've got everything correct. What a side step over there. Uh, Casablanca, uh, Skymatic 280, requesting a startup, uh, Skymatic 280, set Spock 64560. 6456, uh, sorry for that. No problem. Uh, somebody on Facebook and you on Discord made a mention about zero fuel weight, so I just want to demonstrate it purposefully if we need to use this as a reference if you guys set up your Zebo mod and your SimBrief profile correctly as per my Zebo install guide your zero fuel weight is going to be exactly the same there's no need to make the zero fuel weight editable on the tablet it, it's no Matrix use 280 and the startup approved, approved KNX 1021 report one report uh, startup approved. Uh, we'll report when we are ready for taxi. Uh, we wait for the uh, Skymatics uh, uh, 001 before uh, uh, starting the engine. So uh, we're just uh, ready, and then uh, when the Skymatic is ready, we will start the engine as well. Okay? Was a copy? Great stuff. Okay, thank you for that, Axel. Right. So as you can see, it. it balances perfectly if you look at your takeoff weight that takeoff weight is what it's going to be at the threshold when you get on the runway and actually take off so what will happen is 68.8 will always be slightly higher or usually slightly higher uh, on the fmc because it contains a extra little bit of fuel for taxi and that's the difference so you can see it, it clearly balances so just grab my install guide and set it up properly then you'll be fine Okay, so let's have a look. See reserves. Uh, let's use two point nine. Yeah, moment. Right, cost index twenty. We're gonna fly three one zero. We said. At I, Uncle John, are you still okay there? Okay, I'm just checking. And one, Uncle John sits kind of a little bit behind me, so I don't have him in my direct line of sight. So that's why I'm just checking. It's done purposely, so when he's flying, he doesn't say, well, I'm marking him up. I get it, I get it. Ready for pre-flight procedure. Captain has come to fasten your seatbelt. Time we do have to open up to your kids. You should have this time of please fasten your seatbelt. Just as a reminder, we cannot leave the game until zero nine arms are properly put away. All overhead bins are closed and all passengers are seated. Yeah, I am. I am. I don't mind the watching. I mind this hard clipboard eating me from behind if I do something wrong, you know? <laughs> Alright, and for the guys complaining that El Navinev doesn't um, call me any, any more on the ground, you see, if you set it up correctly, it does work. Right, so 5.5 .5 on the trim. 
We'll set it to five and we'll ask Linda to do the rest. Uh, right, so ground, beat the bush back. Where's the bush back? Let's do this as well. Before start procedure. Before start procedure. And we've got information echo. Approach uh, Skymatic 001, ready for push and start. Skymatic 001, push back and then just start approach QNH 1021, uh, facing the runway 179. Passing 17 right, uh, QNH 1021, push and start approved, Skymatic 001. Before start procedure complete. Ready for before start checklist. And uh, Skymatic 001, because it's pretty set, Skok 6, 4, 5, 5. Did I not do that? Oh, Shabbat, I've got four six. Oh, apologies. Uh, Squawk six four five five. Apologies for um, changing those numbers. No worries. I swear, he, did he not say I can release my parking brake? I think he said so. So why aren't we pushing? Thomas donated 10 pounds for right. Super Chat. He's gone on strike. Looks like it. Um, William, thank you so much, buddy. I'm um, sorry, a lot of things happening at the same time. Sabranca Radar 31046 at an stand. Um, uh, Echo 10 with Reconflight Plan 2 Palma. Uh, ready to copy. Info I come board. Window to Jolins 1046. Uh, good morning. Information Echo current. You are clear to Palma de Mallorca, departure runway 1 from the right, toll C for Delta departure, climb flight level 360, score 6454. Okay, clear to Palma de Mallorca, yeah, I don't uh, that, runway that. 17 right, interface flight line 360, uh, squawk 6454, Lince 1046. 1046 confirm departure toll C for Delta. Departure toll C for Delta is 1046. 1046, uh, receiving is correct, and just start up this approach. QNH 1021, report when the ready for taxi. Delta is approved, QNH 1021. Uh, we will call again to ready to taxi in 1046. Let me go and start again. Yeah, I did that. I ended up using the reverses cap. Hey. 
I use the reverses, yeah. Yeah, rather than hold things up. Yeah, that works. Well, let's try one more time. I've tri tried everything. I have literally tried everything. Problem is now we need this on again. I had exactly the same problem. He comes up to the aircraft, he connects, he lifts you, but for some of that reason, it doesn't push back. I uh, remember you saying, John, you had that problem a couple of days ago, didn't you? Mm. I did. Yeah, and my chocks is removed. Everything is ready to go. I mean, let me just put the volume up so I can actually hear this guy. soft brakes Scotsman what on earth do you mean by that because it means your toe brakes your toe brakes aren't no no they are, should be off as well um, release the parking brake there you go there it starts uh, well it's now saying that it's gonna start it said it's gonna start but now we're waiting. Nothing happens. Yeah, no. There it goes. Uh, I'm thinking the toe brakes axis. Remember we were toggling it on and off. We had it in the wrong position. Yeah. Uh, you see, I thought that's what Neil was on about, the toe All right. Brakes. Yeah, there you go. There you go. It, 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 we were toggling, if you go back in this stream, you'll see, we were toggling the um, position on and off, on and off, on and off. So basically, um, we forgot to set it back proper. Uh -huh. <sighs> William, I think I'm going to use that 10 pound to go buy myself some... Um, Alcohol of some sorts, just to calm down a little bit. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't I think he's fixing. That. Really don't believe he said that. Alcohol, Nico, you have a laugh. Mert, I didn't, eh? I didn't watch the videos. I saw so many of them coming and um, I didn't, uh, didn't actually have a look. Alright, okay, well, thank you. Start number two engine. Starting number two engine. You know, Steve, uh, on the one hand, yes, and on the other hand, no, because at least now, you know, after this morning, it looks like all the buttons are set the way I wanted, the levers are set. Hello, Reinhard. Thank you, man. 
waardeer baie. Luister, ek sal gaan Gries koop, nou nou, miskien bykie WD-40 of so iets ook. Um, thanks man, waardeer. Hy sê sal, mys get some Gries for the breaks. <laughs> Uh, start number one engine. Start number one engine. Starting number one engine. Yeah, um, this this is part of the fun of getting the new hardware, setting everything up, making sure everything works. And you know which button we did not set up? Still. Yeah, altitude intervention. But we'll get there. I'm not going to fiddle with it anymore. The poor guys watching this stream is sitting there thinking, oh, Please, Lord, let this guy just get going. <laughs> I'm sorry. Everybody's waiting to see if you go off on the wrong runway again, Nico. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mert, no, I, I don't speak French. 25 and 2. I, I pick up little bits of pieces of the languages. Um, yesterday, I don't know how, I discovered this song on YouTube called Tuton Va and that thing is now sitting in my freaking brain the whole bloody time so we're gonna go now as well Engine start procedure complete. all right so that's done Whew. <laughs> I'm struggling with Scottish English. That's true. I'm really struggling. Um, but anyway, you, you take it in good stride, Scotsman. Uh, thank you for speaking slowly sometimes. Well, it, got, it took us 10 minutes to push back, Uncle John. Alright. Uh, Scamatic 001 ready for taxi. Scamatic 001, taxi to uh, for runway 17 right. Uh, via Papa, Tango, and cross on the one time left, and uh, all the end of the number two. Uh, we're going to taxi via Papa, Tango, cross 17 left uh, for runway 17 right, holding at uh, November 2, Skymatic 001. 17 left, okay, so he says. Papa. And a Sammy 6 uh, zero, zero on uh, this uh, for moment, hold position due to traffic in front of you. Holding positions, Comatic 001. Zero, zero, Alright, so he wants Papa, Tango, uh, Kata, Kata November, Bongo, and then hold. Uh, okay. Uh, Skymatic 280 is ready for taxi. Skymatic 280. I'm in 6280, taxi to uh, runway 17 right via Mike Tango, cross runway 17 left, November 2. Uh, taxi to uh, runway 17 right via Mike Tango, cross runway 17 left, uh, Skymatic 280. What an effort. Skymatic 001, continue taxi. Uh, continue taxi, Skymatic 001. Where are we going? It looks like it looks like the scenery and 
my chart is confusing me. There's the line we need to go on, I think, there in front of me. Not this very first one. Okay. We got it. We got it. Am I headed for the right runway as well? It looks like it, yes, sir. Casablanca, uh, this is uh, SkyMatrix 280. Do we, uh, can we accept uh, mic 2 for departure? 280. 280, I don't have the SAM follow me at all. SkyMatrix 280, hold position. Holding position, uh, 280. To wait zero, give away uh, traffic uh, from left to the right, uh, then continue taxi by a mic and cross the runway one seven left. Uh, the traffic uh, passed already, uh, thank you. And we taxi uh, via mic one to cross runway one seven left and then over to mic two, is that correct? I like this ATC guy, he sounds really nice, he sounds on the ball. Good. Yeah. And the Skynet Skynetix 001, would you like to take off from the mic? Uh, so, uh, we'll take November 2, Skymatic 001. So we'll take uh, November 2, Skymatic 001. Roger. That gives me... 1046, uh, wing 200 degrees, 5 knots, knots runway 17 right, clear for takeoff. Gives me a bit of separation. Runway 17 right, clear for takeoff, wing 1046. Yeah, I'm glad it's back. Whew. Uh, Skymatic 280 holding short, uh, mic 2. Skymatic 280. By the way, guys, rulers, just let me know that there is an X organizer update to version 2.41. Um, so, yeah, um, for those of you that didn't get it, you can go grab it. I'll grab mine later. Before takeoff procedure. Skymatrix 280, line up, lot 17 light behind the departing traffic. You are number two. Uh, lining up uh, behind the uh, departing traffic on the runway 17 uh, right, uh, Skymatrix 280. Before takeoff procedure complete. Ready for before takeoff. 280, sorry, uh, your sequence is uh, changed to number 3. Do you know if we need a, a fresh install of the X organizer or it's just an automatic update, Nico? I don't know. I don't know this time. Sometimes it is the one, sometimes it's the other. 
Yeah, there should be somewhere in the download page you should have some instruction telling you. Uh, AV Geek, no, no, this is all re uh, release candidates. I did a test of a uh, release candidate 3.0 yesterday. Um, I still actually need to send through all my findings because there's a lot of issues with it, so you'll have to hang tight a bit. You can get this version, RC 2.2 is available. It's not available via the downloader, okay? So you guys can't automate the install. You're gonna have to download it directly from the Google Drive or from the torrents. That's the only way you're gonna get this. Line up and wait, runway 17, right, Skymatic 001. Approaching one seven left. Yes, one zero four six identified. Continue climb flight level three six zero. Follow to C four Delta departure. Continue to flight level three six zero. Approaching uh, to four Delta departure. Linear one zero four six. Thanks, Scotsman. <laughs> Skymatics 280 lines up and we are ready for departure. Skymatics 280. Skymatics 280, wind 200 degrees 5 on us, run a 17 right, clear for takeoff. This Bravo Quadrant feels absolutely uh, amazing. Wow. Skymatics 001, line up and wait, run a 17 right behind the departing traffic. Lining up behind the departing traffic schematic 001. Skymatic 001. Seven, right. Wow. Good morning, Yeri. Identified climb flight level three zero cousin three three zero crossing direct Pakas. Uh climbing three three zero uh direct Pakas uh Skymatic two eight zero. They say one zero four six crossing direct Barpa Bravo Alpha Romeo Papa Alpha. There's Pakas over there, that one. Zero four six. Right. On runway. Hmm. Now the extras is working. Skymatic 001, wind 210, degree 6, runway 17 right, left for takeoff. Runway 17 right, left for takeoff, Skymatic 001. Skymatic 280 is maintaining 330. Take off for us ascent. Climbing 280, climb to flight level 330. Climbing 330, uh, Skymatic 280. Get up. Four 
Paramedic 001 identified, continue climb, flight travel 310, prospect direct Fakas. Proceed direct Fakas, climb uh, flight level 310, schematic 001. Linda now. Yeah, very nice Scotsman. Very, very nice. Bit bumpy again. Lean 01046, you are leaving my space, you are the South Stone 80. This is Nicole Monty to the Sumerian. Good morning, have a great flight, bye bye. To do the Sumerian late unit drones, I think you feel your control, Lean 01046. You are leaving my special elevator, so it's time to no pop the ATC available, switch to the common to the simulator, bye bye. Uh, leaving uh, the frequency, thank you very much for your very good uh, ATC. Uh, see you next time, uh, Skymetix 280. You're welcome, bye bye. So Skamitex 001, you are leaving my space, no photo ID is available, it may come on to the same late flight, have a great flight. Thank you for your wonderful ATC service sir, have a good day, Skamitex 001, switching Unicom 1 to 2, there's some light. Sorry Uncle John. Bye. No. Nico, we were lucky that we had uh, ATC. Yeah, that was lovely. That was really nice. 
nice guy. Absolutely. Thanks, thanks, Tommy. I do love my um, Bravo. The the big problem I have now is muscle memory. Um, for years and years, my muscles have been programmed to do certain things with that Cytec um, situation, the Cytec yoke, and obviously I've got, like for instance, the flaps. It's mapped on my left thumb, on my alpha yoke, okay? And I really need to go disable it because I get confused between the two. Sometimes I use the lever on the right hand side, sometimes I use the buttons, and then the two systems, you know, are in disagreement with each other. So it's kind of stupid. I need to, to work on the muscle memory now. I tried using a template in P3D and it confused me so badly I switched most of it off and I'm, I'm using it much easier just directly interfacing with the sim than to use that tool of theirs. You know, the, the P3D thing, um, I use it literally for the light switches. That's all, the rest is controlled uh, directly from the sim. Good morning, Soda. I presume you're saying good morning, so good morning to you. Reinhard, um, I saw that it was published. I haven't had a look yet. Um, I'm excited to get my $100 back that I invested in the NGXU. Um, and I obviously want to get a look at this new 800 the guys are doing. But um, you know me, my loyalty, my whole work life, everything revolves around Zebo now. So it's not the same impact in my life as it would have had four years ago anymore you know or five or six years ago it would have had a bigger hoo-ha in my life but now it's just another one i know i know tommy i know what you're talking about um i just find it easier to let the simulator talk directly to the hardware the only reason i would want to get the template at this point in time is to get the annunciation working you know these little annunciator lights on the bravo but uh, it's not necessary What I am curious to see, Reinhardt, is I am curious to see if they're still using the 2008 version of the NG. 
or if they've actually updated it a little bit you know it's one thing to slap on a little EFB and you know put a, a, a different igniter switch or, or a fuel cutoff switch you know and change the parking brake paddle but it's a different thing to actually simulate fuel burn which PMDG still doesn't do BMDG doesn't simulate fuel burn. There's no CG shift during the flight. There's there's a lot of some shortcuts that we've overcome that the Zebo's doing already that they don't. So I'm excited for that to see whether they've actually decided to use a newer version of um, the NG or whether they're still stuck in 2008 because that's what they know you know I don't know I don't talk to them I've got no idea what they do and don't do so uh, I'm, I'm really curious to see if they're going to do something like that Again, your uh, requested flight level. Let's uh, say again, uh, Skymatics 280. Yes, Skymatics uh, uh, 280, you are identified. Fly direct, Rusik. And uh, I would like to know what is your requested final flight level. Uh, that is 330. Thank you, sir. Copy that, 280, fly direct to speak, maintain flight level 3, please speed up. Um, uh, proceed to the maintain flight level 330, uh, Skymatix 280. Uh, center, good morning, Skymatix 001, passing flight level 273. Skymatix 001, good uh, morning, identified, flight level 270, over MADAP. Continuous flight. Climb and maintain 3 Thank you, sir. Uh, we'll climb and maintain 310 Skymatics 001 and continue as well. Tom 8146 Heavy Radar identified set of 360. Continue as well. Continue as well. 8146 Heavy. Uh, Nico, uh, what speed are you flying? Uh, I'm currently reducing my speed in the climb, so I'll probably be at about 250 knots. Yeah. It'll probably go up to about 285 knots indicated. I'll check the Mach number when we get there. Okay, because I'm flying at the moment at Mach uh, point, uh, 76, 78 fluctuating. Uh, uh, I can go up to 0.78 uh, if you wish. Uh, if you can, if you can do 7.8, I'll do 7.6, and then you'll kind of pull away from me a little bit. I do 7.8, uh, Nico. Excellent. Okay, Axel, I see you almost 20 nautical miles ahead of me. Almost. If we can just separate up to 20 miles or just uh, beyond the 20 mile marker, that will be really cool. So uh, I I still go to point yes. seven eight. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I'll manage it here from the back. So I'll slow down. Uh, and what I'm saying is, if we can maintain twenty mile separation, that's about three minutes. That should be fine. Reinhard, thank you, my mate. Yeah, I'll still be proud. But you met Vicky. We come from Flieg. I missed that Amsterdam, where us the men and the women were so close to make it. As we saw up my car, they started to in the race. But Vicky, we had a for the for the new viewers. Vicky, we saw how they did in the old days. You know, so don't be yourself as proud later. Tommy, thank you for watching. Um, I'll give your regards to Uncle John and all those things. Have a good day, Tommy. No, there we is.
we flying? So, let's see. 290 nautical miles for top of the scent, awesome. And Uncle Don is back. Tommy said I must give you warm regards. Um, he's just left. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Move up back into the room there at the top. You've left the room AFK, so just yes. go back up top. Yeah. That's the setting in the server. You're not a moderator on that account. That's a temporary account, that's why. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Why are we not going up? Where's the scroll bar? Hang on, hang on, got it, got it, got it. There we go. Not a bad day for flying up here. It's crap in the clouds and all, but uh, once you get through it, okay.
Salamanca, Radar, Lisa 1046, eh, Rabat, eh, bueno, Flight, Plan to Palma de Mallorca, Radio to Copy. Charlie 1046, uh, very good morning, uh, you are clear to destination. Uh, you are Lima, Eco, Papa, Alpha, via Vara, Cyber, the standard departure, out of front of my view, please. Cyber and route, squad 1000, please back, please. Okay, clear to destination Lima Eco Papa Alpha, uh, in uh, standard departure Vera 5 Delta, runway 03, in it, uh, Squawk 1000, Lima 1046. Lima 1046 is back fully correct, uh, start up and push back is approved, report when ready for taxi. Start up and push back is approved, uh, report to taxi Lima 1046. Casablanca Radar, this is TAP 074, type HB 3900, inbound TG at flight level 360. TAP 074, very good morning, identified over TG, flight level 360, uh, descend maintain flight level 350 and fly direct Samar.
Uh, Nico, uh, I think we are not going to have any uh, ADC at the uh, Fred uh, Ventura. Um, my arrival will be the Rusik Forshera arrival, runway 01. Let me check mine quickly. I've got uh, Rusik Four Sierra runway 01 with the SOTAD transition. Fully correct, uh, Nico. Awesome. Ready to taxi in 7046. One zero four six text on discretion on the point on zero three QNH one zero two zero call ready. Okay, taxi to discretion to runway zero three QNH one zero two C. We'll call again when ready. It's a one zero four six. That was for Mike eight one four six heavy leaving control of that space. No further ATC monitor unit from one to two decimal eight today. One to two decimal eight turn eight one four six heavy good day. You say you're changing your night lighting, a few things about the ones I use, changing to the large throw by fork boy, okay? Oh, the dogs are going crazy, sorry guys. Okay, Scott's manual, let us know what it looks like. Hello Giovanni, good morning, good morning, welcome. Giovanni, that sounds amazing. I did an unboxing yesterday of my Bravo uh, throttle quadrant. So now I've got the Alpha and the Bravo. Now we need the Charlie pedals, Uncle John. We've got the Alpha and the Bravo. MFG, yeah, yeah. You, he bought the MFG once a week ago, so he's happy as can be. But um, I want, I want the Charlie when it comes. Okay. I'll, I'll do the ordering, don't worry. <laughs> Axel, I'm slowing down to Mach 7.5 at this point in time. I was on 7.6 like we agreed, but um, I'm bringing it even more down. Because you seem to be approximately, I would say, about 15 nautical miles. Ahead. So I'm just slowing down a little bit more. Shame. And it's not as if you can hide it from the wife, eh? Hey? Uh, Nico, I just continue Mach uh, 0.78, yeah? Yes, please. I'll extend it downwind, I don't know, something, you know, we'll make a plan. I'll, I'll make sure that I don't interfere with you. 
it's easy to manage from behind it's not so easy to manage there from the front so I'll do what I have to do One hundred twenty eight nautical miles. Nico, I have added some new uh, routes to the VA sheet, which I did in the, the last days and, and I want to do in the next weeks. That's good, Christoph. Perfect. Giovanni, I just sent you a picture. Level 
And it looks like we set up for the descent already. All good. Nico, I still have. Uh 69 uh, nautical miles to go to top of descent no problem i'm on 86 
Tyrone, I switched off the mic because between Uncle John and the dogs and my mother-in-law and everything happening in the background, I, I didn't want to let all of the um, noise come through. So I'm quite, kind of a bit inhibited this morning, but if you don't mind, I, I can leave the mic on and obviously I'm waiting also for some chat from you guys. Um, we're almost at top of descent and then things are going to heat up a little bit, but um, yeah, things worked out strange now. There you go. 43 nautical miles. Yeah. Nico. Yes. Yes. Can, can I ask a favor? Hmm. At top of descent and just after, can you keep your eye on the cabin climb rate dial for me? Okay. We can Thank do that. You. This is version 2.2, .2, by the way, Paul. I didn't fly 3.0 this morning. Uh -huh. So just bear that in mind. <laughs> Anthony, you're putting sentences together that were not meant to be together. Um, my mother-in-law usually comes to visit on a Saturday. The fact that Uncle John is here is just happens. The room, Bravo Echo, from your uniform, Mike. Climb and maintain flight level 380. Is that a true bedroom? And climb and maintain flight level 380 in 1046. Casablanca radar, uh, SkyMetx 280. We are about uh, 16 nautical miles from our top of descent. Requesting permission to start our descent in Huerta Ventura. Skymatix 280. Skymatix 80, you are about to leave the control the airspace. Continue on this question and monitor Unicom 122 decimate. Goodbye, thanks time. Uh, thank you very much for your ATC and I wish you a very nice day. Uh, switching to Unicom, Skymatix 280. Skymatics uh, 001 as well for you. Uh, monitor Unicom 122.8 and descend at your own discretion. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you for your service, sir. Have a good day on your side as well. We're we going to switch Unicom 122.8, Skymatics 001. Uh, Unicom 122.8, Skymatics 001, this is Um, Axel, we've got tower on all of a sudden. What the heck? No oh, man. Nobody takes an interest in my hobby. No, it's me and Uncle John. We're alone. Eh? Um, the the closest person I got to who was interested was my son. Until he saw how boring it was, he prefers the shoot 'em up games. You know, first person shooters. But other than that, nobody's interested in this house. Only Uncle John. Uh, Nico, I've started this descent, uh, yeah? That's perfect, sir. And by the way, that ATC is on the other island, not on Fuerteventura. Oh, okay, I see, I see. I see, yeah, thank you so much. I was busy reading the um, ATIS and I couldn't understand why I had a 03 in the runway. There's no such 03. And then I realized, no, okay, no, it's wrong. And then you just said it. Ach, and Maria is bloody here again. Let's get rid of Maria. Bye bye, Maria. Oof, gone.
to talk up descent. Okay, Axel, I've started my descent, so I'm gonna I, I I'm gonna be descending at a thousand feet a minute until I intercept the VNAV path. But then at least I'm busy descending as well, slowly but surely. Okay, Nico. You're Uh, what, 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 what? Um, I just heard you say that you were in descent. I was wondering whether you'd looked on that overhead. Shit. Never mind. There you go, there you go. It, it's probably behaving now, right. Let me count to eight or whatever the delay is. Yeah. Mm, it's not behaving. It is, it's actually moving. What I've had mm -hmm. is the cabin climb would go up. Look now. Mine actually went up a little bit just now as well. That's why I said it. Yeah. I actually it's watched been up it. To go. Maybe, maybe, you know, two or three hundred feet a minute for a short time. And mm -hmm. there's absolutely no reason why that should happen. As far exactly. As I work, work exactly. Out. I, no, I think we need to write that down as a bug. Needs to be checked. It shouldn't go up at all during a descent. Yep. It's stabilized now, but as I looked up, I saw it was actually pointing upwards. Yeah, Scotsman, we all feel like it. Eh? We're part of the paint and the material and the freaking floorboards.
getting closer, Uncle John. No, no, it's on the different islands, sir. Uh. Hey Tracer, hello, hello, welcome. But if it's exact, and then we're there. Okay. 
How, how long is that flight from Alicante home? Two hours twenty. Mm. William, I don't know yet. Um, I, in the little bit that I've spoken to the guys, they they continuing to develop it. Okay, and um, as far as I can see, and I mean I don't have any inside information really, but as far as I can see, they're continuing and um, it will still be available in Explain Twelve. I don't know if they know at this point in time whether it will be able to be carried over or complementary or however you you want to say the interface will be I don't know we will have to find out because um, I've got some pretty nice screenshots from from x -Plane 12 that I've seen floating around and it's impressive right? so we'll have to see Thanks, Bay Tracer. Yeah, well, wave when you see us come past, man. Yeah, I know lots of guys are going to try it out. Nico, I'm uh, maintaining uh, 200 knots. Okay, I'm going to quickly start slowing down here. I forgot that I had my speed set and VNAV was not controlling my speed, only my descent. My goodness, I'm fast now. Whew. Look at that wind shift. Wow, wow. Ah, I did, I did, see These wings are hectic. Yo, look at those wings.
Come now, move. There we go. Alright, so this is preview pictures from the next installment of XEnviro. This is XEnviro 1.17 preview pictures. So you're welcome to have a look around. This is what they're busy working on now. Three more to go. And that's the last one. So, yeah, it just as a matter of interest. I mean, like I said, they're continuing the development, it's not stopping. So, I don't have any inside information again. I just listened briefly, you know, from the outside in doesn't look like they're stopping you see yeah you need a bit of a a VGA card and a processor to run it successfully. And cumulus clouds, Scotsman. Oh my hat, it's snowing. Where? Outside my window. Oh really? Yeah. Wasn't expecting that. My, my. Oh, cool. Serious? Nigo, Nigo, I'm going to 180. What do you mean 180? You, you're talking speed? Uh, uh, what, what, yeah, uh, approach speed, 180. Uh, thank you, sir.
Okay, here's that muscle memory thing again. I forget that I need to pull the lever for the flaps. But I'll, I'll get used to it. That snow's not settling, is it, uh, Paul? No, it won't be, I don't think. Okay, thank you. So, uh, my girlfriend's coming back from Alicante, back into Leeds, and she's she's all wrapped up like hell, sweating uh, cops at Alicante. <laughs> Axel, I'm slowing down to minimum approach speed. Flaps 30 set. Ready for landing checklist. Uh, I see it's about 152, 151, run right about there.
The winds are going to be a factor, I think, in this landing. Look at that, 18 knots still. Extra couple of knots. Yeah, I use X camera. I use X camera, so we'll have to have a look, see what they are. Are you flying in ILS approach? Yeah, I am. Uh, Bay, no, I don't use um, anything like that. I've just got X Enviro, and whatever X Enviro does really to the environment, you. that's what happens. Wrong button. Is it not, is it not necessary to switch on the VOR1 or VOR2? Nope. That's just for reference purposes. Ah, uh, okay. No, it's just a visual guide, that's all. What I do, Christoph, is I've got the VOR tuned here already in standby mode. So if we lose the instruments, the FMC dies or whatever, we can always switch over to the VOR and then get reference points, you know. But it doesn't form part of um, the navigation at this time. Everything runs off either FMC or the ILS that we've, we've latched on to now. Nico, hmm? check your uh, radio altimeter and your all, uh, altimeter setting. Why it is so close? depends on what it's measuring I mean that thing literally actually measures the ground that you're flying over the actual surface that thing just runs off the Q and H you know so that's at this point in time if you if you really look outside you'll see there's a lot of bumps and ups and downs you know so that's going to be slightly different depending on terrain whereas that's going to be more constant okay Once you get over the threshold, remember you cross your threshold usually at 50 feet. That's why on a Cat 3, um, quantum maybe it's not A or B, you actually set that to 50 feet because it will only give you correct radio altimeter measurements once you are on the actual runway. The rest, I mean, you can have a cliff just before the runway or whatever. It's going to fluctuate quite a bit on radar. Good day, gentlemen. Hello. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> hello. Five hundred. And Nico, I advocated the runway. Thank you. Just in time. I'm about to land. I'm fighting nineteen knot wind, my friends. Nineteen knots. It was a piece of cake, Nico. Okay. Um, I had a bit of a, a situation here where I had to force um, the nose down and then I went a little bit 100. too much, but it's okay, we're still going to make it. 50, you always 30, make it, Nico. 20, 10. Sweet Thank you. Um, I forget that I have to lift these little thingies for the reverse thruster, almost like the real one, so made a bit of a boo-boo there, but... I'll fix it. Yeah, no, I did, I did. Yeah, I, I need to build up my muscle memory now for this new way of doing things a little bit, that's all. Yeah, that was not bad. Stabilized. 
<laughs> of the landing procedure. That was lovely. Nice flight. Thank you everybody for watching and joining us. Um, just quickly, just as I disconnected the autopilot, I had to just quickly get control back. But after that, the winds was okay. The winds was really not that bad. <laughs> It was almost from the front, that's why it wasn't that bad from the side, I think. Um, I didn't keep an eye on it that much because I was, you know, flying the aircraft. But let's have a look, see if we can get a graphic up there. It was coming from the right hand side, I know, but I think at some point in time it uh, basically gave up on us there. Let's quickly have a look, see. Thank you for flying uh, with me, uh, Nico, and I wish you a nice day. Bye -bye. Thank, thank you, Axel. Bye bye. Bye bye. Mohammed, as far as I know, Orthos will be because it it's just gonna you know fit the same spot that it always did. So we'll see. Excellent pull, thank you for watching. No, that was good. Mm. Eugene, yeah, thank you so much for being here. Um, Uncle Johnny he says thank you for operating the clipboard and keeping me in check here. Yeah? <laughs> And I have to report on every activity at once. <laughs> yeah, Rosario, thanks, man. Um, that's it. We're on the blocks, so I'm just going to do this shutdown and get going. Right, so let's get this graphic up. Let me just show you guys. So there's the wind. There you can see that it eventually ends up quite close to the runway so the angle isn't that bad so with the crosswind component it's only five knots which is almost it, it's basically a wind calm situation in all honesty you know so although the initial wind is reported at zero to zero at uh, 90 knots your crosswind component is very very low you know so i think that was the the big thing why you didn't really see the impact if that um, wind was coming more from the side and you had more than just the winds calm side on wind you know it would have been a bit more entertaining I think and that's it let me get all my switches off and in the right Ready place Shut down procedure. Shut down procedure. Anyway, okay. So 
we're gonna disappear this side now I have a bit of a different day now that Uncle John is physically here um, I don't know what we got planned we're not gonna tell them now okay we'll talk about it later guys girls we'll see you guys the next stream is scheduled for 6 p.m. my time which is 1600 Zulu and uh, we'll take you on another entertaining flight if you guys want to see and we'll speak to you guys then. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk later. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, Nikhil. Bye, Nikhil. Thank you. Have a nice day. Shut down procedure complete. Bye, Andy. Ready for shutdown checklist.